Our first weave that we're going to teach you is the basket weave. Uh, and I'm going to teach you this by actually teaching a hat. We'll start off with a hat. We'll transition into some other things that you can do with the basket weave. But this is the easiest way that I've found to teach it. This is going to take six balloons. I'm going to go alternating colors here. And we're going to blow them up to about the length that you would want for a dog, maybe a little bit more space. So I'm going to start off with uh, these two. And we're going to make a ring. And so what I'll do is twist off about that far and twist these two together. So we have a small bubble and then we've got that. I'll put that same size twist there, assuming we have room for a small bubble. So I'll put another twist there and grab the alternating color. Twist the small bubble into it and put these together. And now it's easy to just measure off of what I already had by folding it over, putting the twist in, and then grabbing our second, another balloon. Put a small bubble. Twist it around. Now since this is going to be a hat, it has to fit on my particular head. And I'm telling already that it's going to be a little bit big. So I'm just going to make this next bubble a teeny bit smaller. Nobody will notice, but that way I can make sure it's the right size for my own head. Just repeat the process. And again, alternate every other color. Keep going. And now we should have a hexagon. And what we're going to do is we'll twist these together right there. But first, I need to see how big my head is. So I've got it on there. And I have a single row, just a basic hexagon, with the balloons coming out alternating around it. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we'll come up and weave around a level. Come up and weave around a second level. And it's going to form a nice spiral. So for the first piece, we'll come up about that far. The exact length doesn't matter. You can make it taller or shorter based on what you want, what your preferences are. And then we want these to be about the same size. So I put a twist in it, and I'll twist it around the next one in line. Again, the key will be to alternate yellow, purple, yellow, purple. So I'm at this point, put a twist the same size, and twist these two around. As you get more experienced with it, more familiar with it, you don't have to put the twist in first. You can just grab the two balloons and twist them around, working our way around just like that. You can already see the spiral start to take shape. But here's how we're going to finish this off. We're on a purple balloon. So we'll start with that twist. And we'll bring it around what we have started there. So now we have six relatively even ends. Something went wrong with this one. I'll just give it a little stretch. So there's our hat thus far. Come up one more level, and we'll continue that spiral up and over, up and over. So we'll just go around and around and around, and to end it just like we did the last one, by making the bubble first tucking it through, and wrapping it in place. So now we have the base of a column here. This could be continued for 30 more feet if we needed to, if we were making a large sculpture. But right now, we're just doing a hat. So we need to bring these all together in the center, find that center point, and just twist them all together.
So now we have a giant blob at the top of our hat. We don't particularly want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring each of these back over the color that it started on. So I'll take this purple balloon, I'll put a small twist in it here, and I'll run it back over the purple. So now it's looking a little bit better, but we do need to break off and tie here. I recommend everyone else use scissors. I recommend I use my teeth. You'll notice we do have one sticking through down at the bottom. We can just pull that over here, or you can just leave it. Nobody knows, nobody's going to notice it. So now you have the top of the hat. Nice alternating colors, nice spiral going the whole way around. Um, if instead of going in a spiral, if you'd like to have it be a swath of purple, then gold, purple, gold, what you do is you come over and instead of continuing that way with your weave, you just go this way and then you'll have yellow, purple, yellow, purple. So that's the base of the hat. What I'm going to do now is put on the brim. The brim will start with a fully inflated 260. Start it on any of these, it doesn't matter which. I'll fold it in half to find where the midpoint is. And then I'll skip one, twisting it right in there. Take the remainder and twist it in, again, skipping one bubble. I've got this one. It doesn't matter how much you inflate this one as long as it's over halfway. Wrap it where we left off. Make it about the same size as the others. Break it off and tie it. So now we have three relatively even pieces. And this is where it gets interesting and looks really cool. We're going to start with this yellow balloon, again fully inflated. We find the midpoint, which is right here. And now we're going to go over, over the purple, and then under the next. So we have that scheme there. We're going to go over again, so over the purple, under the next. And one last time with the remainder. Going over the purple and under. Break it off, tie it. We have a nice hat. One thing I like to do is put on a little flower. I take whichever the darker color of the two is, and I generally use that for the stem. I use 160s here. And the yellow. You can use whatever flower you like, but I tend to use an eight petal flower for this by making a loop twist. Another loop twist. And then just alternating them. made my petals a little bit small, we'll just make it a six petal flower. I'm going to break this off and tie it. You can leave it like that or just give it a little pinch twist. Right there. Bend that. Break it off and tie. And I'm just going to make a small bubble here. And this will form the attachment point. Put it right there. Have a seat. And model my hat. <laughs>